Hey guys, how you all doing today? Now for today's video, we got our first official J Jurassic World Dominion still. That's right, not a behind the scenes image, not, not any exposed secret leaks, but an, our first official Dominion still from the full film itself which reveals Bryce Dallas Howard's Claire Deering and a mysterious dinosaur that has just been revealed to be none other than the Therizinosaurus itself as well as some very interesting information from none other than Colin Trevorrow himself. So if we look at this image guys we get to see Claire Deering in a what appears to be a sort of swamp or something or maybe just a little water hole it seems but she seems to be very frightened and behind her we get to see a massive creature that is lurking above her and if you look at the claws that are right in front of one of its feet you get to realize that this is something that we all have wanted to see for a long time and on his twitter colin trevorrow officially confirmed that this was bryce dallas howard and the therizinosaurus which has gotten a lot of excitement going around for this being the first image of the entire film that we've gotten. That is official, not not a leaked image or behind the scenes images, no. This is an image from the movie itself of our first dinosaur, which is another new confirmed one, which just raises the toll even further, and I cannot wait to see the Therizinosaurus. But before we begin to talk about the image, I wanna talk about an interview that Colin Javar did recently where he was talking about the film and he reveals a lot of stuff he doesn't reveal what this scene will imply or what this image is going to represent but he does talk about the film with total film about and he states the following he states a lot of things including how the original trio characters ian malcolm alan grant and ellie sattler will intertwine with our newcomers claire and owen colin trevorrow states the following Laura, Sam, and Jeff have as much screen time in the film as Bryce and Chris do, he confirms. They are not together the entire film, but we are following both their stories equally, and we and you will have a sense of they're going to collide at a certain point. There's this tension, he says. Continuing on, he s states something about how the film is not like other Hollywood films. It, let's continue. It's not structured necessarily in a way that we're used to seeing our Hollywood movies structured, but it works, he says. Trevorrow also spoke about struggling for inspiration, further admitting, this is a rare film where it is different from anything I've ever seen before. I didn't know what to watch for, for inspiration. Honestly, we watched lots of nature documentaries. I even watched a lot of Planet Earth. This movie does rely on the animals acting and reacting in ways that feel natural. And coming off of the Dominion prologue that just came out a few weeks ago, it's really good to hear that we're going to be seeing more of the dinosaurs being actual dinosaurs and animals, and not just the monsters we've seen them in basically all the other films. With the only exception of dinosaurs in the real world, apart from Battle of Big Rock and the Dominion prologue, being the s small section of the San Diego sequence with the bull T-Rex in the Lost World. And speaking of this image, actually, I gotta say, the look of this really reminds me of the Lost World's Redwood Forest. Maybe this could be a similar place that, to that image we, that we saw ages ago of Chris Pratt and one of the new characters going into what appears to be a Lost World sort of Redwood Forest. I don't know, it could be the same location, but it hasn't been confirmed yet, but still, I really like how this has a nice Lost World feel. It's one of the best looks in the franchise so far, and to have it sort of coming back, but now in 2021 or 2022 looks, is really going to be interesting. And looking at this image even more is one thing that's going to be interesting for this being a Therizinosaurus, might I add, is that we don't see any feathers. Now, Colin Trevorrow hasn't talked about this yet. Some people have been asking about it already. Now, I have a feeling that it could still be feathered. I'm f having a feeling that it could be either A, like the prologue's Tyrannosaurus Rex, where it was only slightly feathered, or having proto-feathers on its upper body, but if you look at the T-Rex, it doesn't have any on its arms, its legs, or even on its head, which could be a thing that they see with the Therizinosaurus, which could sort of balance it to being feathered but not fully feathered, which is interesting. Or there's another thing. What I'm thinking is that, because the scene, we don't know its importance, and since it's the first official image, we have to treat it as being extremely important, because if we look at other images that have been for bringing the new films, like Jurassic World's 
and fallen kingdoms, we've had very important meanings behind the very first image. If we look at Jurassic Worlds, it showed the Mosasaurus eating a shark, similar to what it did in the trailer, except it's in its lagoon, and a kid is looking through a window. Now, in the film, this has no meaning, except for the fact that it explains that the Mosasaurus, while being one of the big reasons why Jurassic World was so popular and became the biggest um, box office hit for the summer and also a critical success revitalizing the franchise, it also had importance with how the Mosasaurus was going to be a big part of the film, as it has many scenes including where it was the one that was responsible for killing the villain dinosaur Indominus Rex. And for Fallen Kingdom, it was the same. The first image we got to see was of Maisie looking up at the Triceratops skull in the Lockwood estate, which now looking at the film as well, it has two important meanings. For one, the skull represents the death of the Indoraptor, of course, and if we look at Maisie herself being in it, it's a nice yin approach to how she's connected to the dinosaurs because she is a clone of the former Maisie, as we've learned in the film. Which, honestly, I still wonder what that's going to play into for Jurassic World Dominion, because we haven't had anything on Maisie and the story so far. Is she going to be a major part even? I, I don't know, but still, this scene, it has to be important for some reason. Not only is it revealing a new, another new dinosaur, which I think that makes 11 guys. Like, I, I'm going to actually do a video on that soon, I was planning to, but now we have this to add to the list of Therizinosaurus, which, honestly, I wonder what it's going to do. Like, it's being shown in an antagonistic way, but I hope it's going to have a big role, definitely, because Therizinosaurus is awesome, and it just looks so big, guys, and I wonder what what is the scene meaning, Could, and also, who made the Therizinosaurus? That's another big question. Did Biosyn make it? Manticore? Who, who made it? Who is responsible? Because we know it's not InGen's dinosaur, because it was never on the list, so it could be some other company, and if it is, then why is Claire in trouble with it? Maybe she's being attacked by it because maybe she's discovered something that she shouldn't have, similar to what we've been told about many scenes that would appear in the CinemaCon trailer that came out a few months ago. I'm pretty sure we talked about that. Anyway, guys, what do you think about this image? Is it a cool image for you guys? And also, what do you think its meaning is going to be? After all, it's the first official um, film shot that we've gotten to see, apart from behind-the-scenes images or little images about certain dinosaurs. But whatever your thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them all in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until the next video, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.